person is making up to $10,000 a month on YouTube. This person makes up to $15,000 a month on YouTube. Meanwhile, this person is making up to $95,000 on a monthly basis. All of these people I've just shown you have one thing in common. They did not have to film a single video, and that is what we will be talking about in this tutorial. I will walk you through the entire process, from the video idea to the actual creation and eventual uploading of that video onto YouTube. And since I will explain everything step by step, a complete beginner will be able to set this up easily and start getting paid online for the very first time. And with all of that said, let's now get right into this tutorial. As you've seen in the intro, today I have a way for you to make money through YouTube. And I also have several channels to show you as proof that yes, this actually works and you can make it work too. Without further ado, the very first channel I will be showing you today is this one right here called Life Stories. As of now, it has close to 600,000 subscribers with new videos being uploaded regularly. As the name of this channel suggests, on here you can indeed find videos about various interesting stories, and all of them are doing quite well. If I were to open up one video, however, what you would find is that there is nobody recording themselves on camera. As promised, we just have a single compilation of videos with a voiceover to top it all off. And if you don't want to do a voiceover, then stay tuned. I will show you websites you can use in that case. The second YouTube channel I want to show you today is this one right here called Wavy Web Surf, and it has over 900,000 subscribers. Once again, however, the videos are pretty much in the same niche. You have interesting and creepy style stories, and these videos tend to get a lot of views. Here's a video example I want to show you just so you can see that once again, we don't have anyone showing their face on camera whatsoever. It's just a voiceover with a video compilation to top it all off. The last YouTube channel I want to show you today is one making the most money by far and getting the highest views as of late. It's called Real Stories and it has over 5 million subscribers. This channel goes to show you that you can make a lot of money creating videos even if you're not showing your face, which a lot of people would not believe and feel like it's impossible, but it's not. Here's a video example, and just like with the previous two channels, we have nobody showing their face, and it's just a voiceover and a video compilation, and that's all there is to it. So if some of you were skeptical about making money on YouTube without filming anything, these three channels should serve as living proof that this is indeed possible. And I will show you everything you need so you can start your own channel. Just before I do so though, it's important that I also cover what you've seen in the intro, the amount of money made. If you go over to Social Blade, you would see that just as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, these people are making thousands of dollars online a month doing not that much work really, with the most popular channel making up to $95,000 a month, which is insane to say the least. Of course, the amount of money is most likely at around $45,000 to $50,000 or so, since this is a very broad estimate, but that's still insane and a pretty big number. What you can see on Social Blade, however, that I also wanted to show you is the amount of views, both the total and the daily averages. This is important to highlight because they show you that the types of videos these guys are uploading are actually worth it. They are popular and people love to watch them. Real Stories, as you can see, has gotten a total of 1 billion views, which is crazy, and they get very close to a million on a daily basis on average. In short, these videos are easy to make, they don't require you to film anything, and more importantly than anything else, you can make a lot of money creating them because they get a ton of views, as I've just shown you. So let me now cover the entire process of creating a video from the idea to the editing, and I have several platforms to show you that you can use depending on your situation. Before you can start creating your video, the first thing you'll need is a video idea. You need to know what you'll be creating, and if you are creative enough, you can think of a video like that on your own, but most of you probably won't have any idea what to create, so let me give you some tips. 
Firstly, use the shown channels as inspiration. Don't outright copy their video ideas, but try and get your own ideas from them. And I promise you, you will get one after some time. In conjunction with using the shown channels as inspiration, you'll have to use Google. You'll want to do that so you can find interesting articles about something you want to create. Articles that you can then use to base your own videos on. A great site I would recommend you use alongside Google is listverse.com. I've shown this platform a few times on my channel already, and it's for a very good reason. On here, you can find articles about mysterious, creepy, and bizarre stories. Stories that would get a lot of views if you translated them to a YouTube video. And so I highly recommend you use this site to find an interesting story. Say I were to use this one. What you would want to do now is rewrite this article, and to do it without investing too much work, you want to use a site called paraphraser.io to rewrite it for you within seconds. Afterwards, you would need to make sure the article does not contain any errors, since this is a software after all. But nevertheless, the amount of time it takes you to rewrite it will be minuscule in comparison. With this script now, what you will want to do is one of two things. Do the voiceover yourself by reading what's in the script, or send the script to a professional voice actor to do the voice for you. And here, I highly recommend you guys do it yourself, since paying voice actors can get expensive. If you don't want to do it yourself still, then use a site called Upwork.com to find voice actors for the cheapest price of any other freelancing sites. With that done, however, with the voiceover complete, whether it's yours or not, now comes the really fun part, actually getting clips for your new video. And here I have multiple platforms I would recommend. The first one called invideo.io is not a free one by any means, but the reason I recommend it is because it can create an entire video for you without you actually having to edit it too. So it's basically a video editor and footage provider all in one. So you can use it to effortlessly create and edit your video with the script that you've obtained from before. If you don't wanna bother paying anyone anything, then here are a few sites I would recommend for obtaining footage for your new video. Pexels.com, Pixabay.com, and lastly, Storyblocks.com. The latter of these three is not free, but you would have to start using it after some time when you make some money since Pexels and Pixabay, as good as they are, would not have all the footage that you would need in the long run, but they'll do for now. What you'll want to do on any of these platforms now is simply search for the videos you want, and depending on what your video is about, you will search for different types of videos. The point is, though, that you want to find as many as you possibly can. The more videos, the better. When you download all the footage you need, you now want to simply compile it all alongside the voiceover into your new video. And so you need a video editing software. A great one I would recommend is Filmora. It's not a free one indeed, but a very good one I would recommend you to try out if you have some money in your pocket. If you don't, then you have two options. Use a video editor called OpenShot, which is 100% free, and I have recommended it in my previous videos. Or find some other one using Google by searching for best free video editor or something like that. Either way, however, whichever one you go for does not change the end result at all. You would have a done video that you can then upload onto YouTube, and you did not have to record a single thing. From here, as many of you can already guess, you'd want to repeat this process over and over again, and thanks to the types of videos you'll be uploading, you would start getting some views definitely after a while. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support my channel, then please do so by leaving a like down below. If you also want to check out some of my other videos, be sure you wait a few seconds for the two that'll pop up. As I upload new videos on this channel regularly, it only makes sense that you subscribe. Tick the bell icon and you will get a notification whenever I upload a new video. As always, thank you for watching and see you all soon in some of the upcoming videos.